Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how to open and clean Sony Vio e series laptop. My computer gets overheated so I am going to clean the cooling fan and apply thermal paste on processor and cooling fan junction. My laptop's specific model number is SVE14125CXB. At first, I am going to take the battery out. Now I will open the RAM cover and take the RAM out. Keep the RAM in a safe place. Secondly, I am going to open the hard disk cover and remove it from the computer. You need to open this specific screw to take out the hard disk. Now I am going to open all the screws on the back side of my laptop. Hope that didn't take so long. Now I am just pushing the joints with my nail to remove the back cover completely. Gently clean the motherboard and all other parts with a soft brush. Do not use any liquid. I think it cleaned enough. Now I am going to open the cooling fan. One big advantage of Sony is that the cooling fan is located over the motherboard. So I don't have to open the motherboard to take the cooling fan out. Carefully open these four screws because processor is located beneath this portion. The screws are numbered so it's better to maintain the sequence. Now disconnect the power cable. Wow, too many dust inside the fan. I am going to clean it outside my room because I don't want to make my room dirty. I will use the same brush to wipe the dust off. You can use alcohol based glass cleaner with a towel. I have cleaned the sink and fan. Now it's time to apply thermal paste. First I am going to remove previously applied paste with a forceps. You can use a knife too but don't use any kind of tool for removing the paste over the processor. Use a dry towel and wipe the paste from the processor. Now apply thermal paste over the processor. You will get this paste in any computer shop. Don't buy a huge quantity because you only need 1 or 2 ml of paste. This syringe contains 3 ml of paste. So I am done cleaning my fan and hopefully it will solve the heating problem. I am putting back the cooling fan in its original condition. Oh, I have to connect the power cable. Now I have to connect the DVD drive. So now I am putting the back panel and I will screw it. Then put your hard disk and RAM back into their respective position and we are good to go. That's it. Thank you for watching my video and please subscribe for future updates.